Hi, my name is Mike and I do the Tractor Mike YouTube channel. And if you're shopping for a 45 to 55 horsepower tractor, I'm going to tell you today about 10 features that you need to look for that will make your tractor ownership experience a lot better. And I'm going to also tell you about a new entry into the market, the Mahindra 5145 and 5155 tractor. This one's got all 10 of them. Let's get started. I'm going to start at the front of the tractor and go to the back and tell you about all 10 features that I think most of them are really important to me and are probably important to you and you need to know to look for them. Let's start at the radiator. One of the big problems on a tractor is the radiator clogging. And the reason that is, if you're out brush hogging late in the season and you're hitting a lot of those tall weeds with seeds on the top of them that shatter, the suction from the radiator fan can blow those right back into the radiator, clog up your radiator and shorten the life of your engine. So if I'm shopping for a tractor, any size really, I'm looking for some kind of a screen that cuts down on the amount of debris that goes into your radiator. This tractor's got it right in front, real easy to take out, hit with an air hose or a water hose and clean out at any time. So look for that on any tractor you're shopping for. Now let's go back to the operator area. One thing you'll notice on this tractor real quickly is where the fuel tank is. And I wish every tractor had the fuel tank where this tractor has it, down low. Two reasons for that. Number one, if you're like I am and you got a little age on you and you're carrying those five gallon diesel tanks to the tractor to refill, getting them up over the back end of the three point to fill on a tank behind the seat or in the middle of the hood is a big deal. This one's down low where you can easily fill it with a five gallon tank or a farm tank and it'll flow quickly for refueling. The other reason I like this fuel tank where it's at, down low like this, it helps you be stable. A lot of us farm on hills, and the more weight we can get lower, the more stable we'll be. So the second thing to look for is that fuel tank down low. Third thing I like to look for on a tractor is the operator area. It needs to be kind of wide open and flat, like this tractor is. And the reason, you're, you're going to be on that tractor a lot, you need to be able to stretch your legs out, but they take it a step further on this tractor. Having a thick rubber mat between you and what's below you is real important for two reasons. Number one, it keeps a lot of the heat from coming up from the engine and transmission area to the operator area. And number two, it keeps a lot of the noise from coming up. So you'll be more comfortable on a long day with a tractor with an open operator area with a thick rubber mat there. The fourth thing I like to look for is a nice comfortable seat and this tractor's got it. A seat that's got good cushions on it, that's got good springs on it and also a really nice added feature is armrests because if you're brush hogging all day you're leaning over looking behind you toward the brush hog and you can do that with armrests. The fifth thing that you might look for on a tractor and this is something that's really not important to me but if you're not normal size like I am it could be important to you and that's a tilt wheel. A lot of tractors have a fixed steering wheel and if you're shorter and smaller and you need to move that steering wheel back into your lap you can't do it. If you're bigger than I am and you need to fold that thing out of the way to get on and off the tractor easily you can't do it. So look for a tractor with a tilt steering wheel. You wouldn't think of buying a car without a tilt wheel. A lot of tractors come with a fixed steering wheel. The sixth thing I'll tell you to look for on a tractor and this is probably should be the number one thing and that is how noisy is it? How loud is it? A lot of farm people that have been on tractors their entire life lose hearing and it's a big problem. So find a tractor that has a low decibel level and if you have a smartphone you can download a program that checks the decibel level of the tractor at rated PTO engine speed so you get one that's quiet. It'll save fatigue, it'll save your hearing and it'll make you more comfortable on that tractor if you get one that's quiet. This tractor has a four-cylinder engine. Generally, four-cylinder engines are smoother than three-cylinder engines and will be quieter. So look at the decibel levels before you buy a tractor. The seventh thing you want to look at when you're shopping for a tractor is transmission. I like a lot of gears. If you're out brush hogging, sometimes you want to be maybe three miles an hour. Sometimes you want to just get done, you're at seven miles an hour. So find a tractor with a lot of gears in the working range, which is from 3 to 10 miles an hour. This particular tractor has 12 speeds forward, 12 reverse with a true shuttle. There are some tractors that claim they have a shuttle, and what a shuttle is, if you're going forward at one speed, you shift into reverse, you'll be going back at the same speed. 
Some tractors don't have that and I would avoid them. Get a tractor with as many gears as you can and a true forward reverse shuttle. The eighth thing I would look for in a tractor, and there's not all tractors have this, but it's a very, very nice feature, is economy power takeoff. And economy PTO means that if you're out brush hogging late in the season, you really don't need horsepower to cut your seed heads. You're just trying to slick up the ground and cut off the stalks. So what you can do with economy PTO, it's like an overdrive for PTO. You can shift into economy PTO and throttle way down so your engine is not running fast. That means less fatigue for you and less fuel consumption. So if you can get a tractor with economy PTO, get it, it's a really nice feature. Now the final two features I'll talk about today are at the back of the tractor and they involve hooking up implements. If you have a tractor that's hard to hook up, you'll hate it because it's tough to get from one implement to another. The two options I would look at, number nine and number 10, Telescopic stabilizers to me are one of the most important options you can have on a tractor. And what stabilizers are, they run from the lower link arms back to the axle of the tractor and they keep the implement from swinging back and forth in back of the tractor. There's two kinds there. Telescopic stabilizers have a pin that go down in a slot or a hole that allow you to lock that implement in position easily. The other type of stabilizers are turnbuckle stabilizers and I hate these you have to turn a turnbuckle to get that implement tight and when you want to take it off you want to loosen it and it's a big job so when you're looking for a tractor this would probably be my favorite option is telescopic stabilizers on the lower link arms finally today the tenth option that I would be looking for is extendable lower link arms extendable lower link arms are a mechanism where you lift a latch you can pull out the lower link arm hook up to the tractor and then back up to lock it in position. It's hard to get those link arms right where they need to be with a fixed link arm tractor to hook up an implement. With extendable lower link arms, you can get close, get those lower link arms on the tractor, back up and click it in place and go to work. It's a lot easier way to hook up an implement to a tractor. If you'll consider all of these options and pick out the ones that are important to you and when you're shopping for a tractor, have a checklist make sure the tractor you're looking for has all these options, you'll get one that you'll be happy with and that will last you a lifetime.